Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday. I have not been doing much today. My best friend popped round so we could have a catch up earlier and then we popped to the shops. Just we're out for about an hour. Um, yeah, it's been nice to catch up with her. And then I need to show you an update on what I've been doing in the garden. I haven't shown you the garden furniture yet fully assembled. So I'll definitely show you that or I'll pop in some photos here of how that's looking. It's looking really nice. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. As for the rest of today, I do need to take some photos of some items I need to add on to Vinted. So that's a job for today. And then also, I did just want to show you guys because I've been deciding if I should or not build a website for interior design services. Obviously, this is something that I'm interested in. It's not something that I'm professionally trained in, but I have got an interest for it. You know, it's something that I would like to pursue. So I have actually built a website. So I will give you a little view of what the website does look like. I haven't actually set it up officially yet to go live. I've still got a couple of days to sort that out and see how much it's actually going to cost. But I will just show you now what it's looking like. So this is currently what the website is looking like. Okay, so I've had to set this up on a bit of an angle because it's going, the screen's going a little bit funny as it would with the um, camera and the computer screen. So yeah, this is just a quick overview or a very quick overview of how it's kind of looking. Contact information down here. Yeah, I'm really pleased with how it looks and you know I've got my services page but this is also kind of like kind of my portfolio as such so just a couple of designs and mood boards that I've created which is what I would like to offer for other people as well and then projects would currently just be my house at the minute so it's kind of just like high quality photos of how I've designed our home so yeah I will if I do set this up I will actually leave the link to my website in the description box if anyone's interested just in case um, and then you can contact me through my website so I do have some more spray painting to do as well, but I'm probably not going to do that till much later on in the evening anyway. It's not as windy today. I couldn't do it yesterday. It was too windy. So hopefully it stays that way and I can get the other side finished, ready for the parasol to arrive. And yeah, I think other than buying the last little kind of like plants to grow up that trellis, I think it's pretty much done which is really nice and more updates downstairs so last weekend I didn't film any of this but I did actually my mum came round and we kind of did like an overhaul of any kind of like lingering outdoor furniture items stuff that just needed to go old outdoor rugs that are just rotted over winter gross but they had to go so we booked a tip trip <laughs> and went down there, got rid of all of the junk. So the garden is literally clear of any kind of like hoarding and grossness from winter. And um, unfortunately, the rug in the living room had to go. It had got so smelly. I just, because again, the dog's, had a couple of accidents on there and I just the wool I just couldn't deal with that smell and it's not for our lifestyle and our family set up with the dogs wool is not a practical material so I just had to you know bite the bullet and the rug had to go to the tip as well I have already ordered a replacement. It's nowhere near as expensive as that one was. And it's also double-sided. So it's like a two-in-one. It's a very similar look. I have made a video on this. It kind of like looks for less on my TikTok. So I'll leave my TikTok handle here as well. So you can go and check that out. 
because there was another rug on H&M that I loved but again it was wool and I was just like I can't do wool rugs anymore they're just not for us so I found this other one on Debenhams and no wool in sight I'm hoping it's easy enough to just chuck in the washing machine if I need to hoping it's easy to tidy up spills and any little accidents so yeah I will show you guys that when it arrives so hopefully it looks good and yeah a bit gutted about the other one but I just couldn't do it anymore so it had to go so I'm just gonna crack on now we're taking some photos of some clothing items to upload onto my vintage I can also leave my vintage handle here if anyone is interested um go check that out and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit So guys it's been a few days since i've picked up the camera um so last weekend weekend just gone it's tuesday today i've got quite a lot of home updates to share with you guys sorry about the glare on the glasses this is the only kind of room today it's quite gloomy outside that's got good enough lighting so we at the weekend on saturday i hung out with my mom i don't know why i didn't pick up the camera and show you guys because we had a really nice day i guess it's just because we were enjoying the day I didn't think to film anything so we went to Howden's and Wicks and I don't know if you oh you can see a little bit actually um what I picked up at Wicks to do which was a little bit of a well it wasn't planned it was a kind of spontaneous spur of the moment let's just do it a little bit like obsessed with stripes at the minute i didn't want it to look too kind of overboard but we've stuck with it i've persevered i actually think it looks really good i'm really pleased with it so that's what i picked up from wix a sample of that paint because i kind of knew that that's the one that i wanted to use but i just wanted to make sure that the colors were what i envisioned so i did that which is what you've just seen me do as well and then we went to where did we go it was a very um spontaneous visit i guess this place is on the way we had quite a i don't want to say it we did have quite a, a posh day so we went for a really nice lunch at this restaurant which is on the way to where we were going anyway we were both really hungry so we were like let's just go let's treat ourselves because why not so i will pop a picture here of our lunch which was perfect and it was nice because it wasn't we weren't full enough that like we were tired and wanted to sleep after so it was the perfect amount of food and then what did we do oh yeah came home did the sample for this and then i feel like i don't know what else we but i got home quite late to be fair because we also went to an antique shop after lunch wasn't very successful there didn't really pick anything up um, and then we went to Snape, which is like our favourite, favourite spot to go to and I picked up. Not very exciting, but I'd be interested. Picked up a couple of new pasta bowls, which are so nice and I'll show you those in a minute as well. And then Sunday, did this. Literally just got up in the morning and was like, we're doing this today. This took ages for the prep work. It's all in the prep though because we spent a long time doing the prep and it maybe took 15 minutes painting the stripes in but the prep is a hundred percent worth it because you well you just won't be disappointed with the results and then i've still got this side to finish i run out of tape otherwise i would have finished the whole thing um so yeah really happy with how that's looking today as well another kind of spontaneous purchase i love how i'm like really contradicting myself in all my other videos i'm like i don't typically spend but this is something that i've wanted to change for a long 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 time since we've been kind of putting personality into our home 
and that is the bed frame. I was originally going to do a DIY headboard, but then I found a bed frame, a Super King bed frame, which is what we have at the minute, on Wilco for £160. And it was kind of the perfect bit of what I was going for. And I thought, you know what, for the sake of doing all of that DIY, and then just adding to a bed frame that I still don't really like, I'm just going to bite the bullet and buy the new bed. So that's actually arriving today. So fingers crossed it's the right colour because obviously I've only seen it online, so I'm not really sure how that's looking or how that's going to look. So let's hope for the best. You can also see a little sneak peek of our new rug as well, which is yet to be put down properly. So it looks a bit of a mess at the minute really pleased with that actually it looks a lot whiter online than it does in person which i'm grateful for because i didn't want a bright white rug i wanted like an off-white cream because that's kind of all the accent lighter colors that we have going on and yeah i think that's about it for updates well that's not it for updates actually i'm slowly so i'll put another picture up here of kind of like the new mood board that I did for the space which is really just going to be like changing out a few of the soft furnishings and maybe changing out the throws a little bit but um yeah I did also place an order on Teamy for these two cushions because we had these cushions originally which are from Amazon and I think they're about £20 each I still love these I'm still going to keep these and store these away but I really wanted some blue ones like you can see in my mood board and I actually found some on Teamy and for two it cost me just as much for two on Teamy as it did for one of those off Amazon and I was kind of like you know you're like praying for the best when it comes to Teamy and they're actually really good so I will show you those now as well. So everywhere is a little bit of a mess at the minute because obviously we've been doing a lot of things in the house and switching things over but these are the new cushions. So these are the new cushions and I think they're so perfect. They're this really nice faux fur, this really nice blue colour. This is literally the colour that I was looking for. I think the cushion that I used in my mood board mock-up was about £90 and I want to say these were around £7. I will put the price up on the screen though just in case anyone's interested. But yeah, really happy with how these look and I will be changing these cushion covers out as well. And all of these <laughs> throws need to be sorted out. The dogs are just under there at the minute. But yeah, slowly getting there. And then this is the new rug as well, which looks so good. Still needs to be heavered properly, but I need to like not stick it to the floor, but I need to actually like make sure it's, it can't move around and then I'll give it a good heaver. But yeah, really happy with that. Under £100 as well. And it is also double sided so you can have that side or you can have this side the darker side which i think is really good so just in case you want to change it up without getting something new but yeah so i'm just going to feed the dogs their breakfast now and then i do have to start work so i will catch up with you guys a bit later because i have got more things to show you as well 